What's going on game members? Welcome to a new series I'm starting on my channel called uh, Storytime with Joker. And basically what it's going to be is I'm going to be basically going over some stories with you guys that have happened to me throughout my years and you know really funny stories that have made me laugh and have made people I work with laugh. You know, so I figured I'd share them with you guys, kind of give you guys, um, get you guys on a more personal level with me. Like I said, not everything on my channel is going to be gaming related. Granted, I, that's what I love bringing to you guys. I love bringing gaming content to you guys. I love bringing, you know, Let's Play videos, gaming rant videos. I love bringing all that stuff to you guys. But I, I just also wanted to bring you, you know, like kind of a comedy vlog, I guess. Like I said, it's going gonna, it's gonna to get you guys on a more personal level with me. And I'm going to be sharing stories with you that have made me laugh, have made several other people I know laugh, so I thought I'd share them with you guys. Now the one that I'm going to start with today is going to be called, I'm going to call it the cigarette bum. Now for those of you who don't know me, uh, I live in Tennessee and the, where I live, um, it was about five years ago I want to say, yeah it was close to five years ago. Uh, I got a job through a temp service as a, fac uh, bleh. I got a job through a temp service at a factory here in my town and um, I had been there for about six months, and as soon as you know that six-month time period rolled around, um, there was a guy who got uh, brought in the temp service about around that time, and um, I had never worked with him before. You know, he was a brand new guy; had only been there for like a day or two. Well, um, I ended up having break. Like I don't know how it fell this way. Like I don't know how this happened. I ended up having the same break as this guy, like, from there on out. Like, I, I don't know how that happened because we change breaks every day. So I, I don't know how that happened. But what would happen is, is that this guy um, came to break with me, like, the second day he was there. And he's kind of a bigger, I mean, goofy looking guy. And he looked at me and his exact words to me were, Hey, dog, can I get a cigarette, dog? I'm like, I <laughs> think it's really funny you talk like that, but yeah, sure, why not? So I, get, I give him a cigarette. You know, I'm a nice guy. I'm going to give him one. You know, he just got started, hadn't, hadn't got a paycheck yet. So I figured, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll, I'll give him one. You know, I mean, it can't hurt nothing. So later on, we end up going to break together again. He's like, hey, dog, I hate to bother you, dog. Mind if I get another cigarette, dog? Okay, sure. So, you know, I give him another one. Well, this whole ordeal goes on every day until we get paid again. And we get paid every week. So, you know, I kept, you know, it was, it was really, it was trying my patience because I was the only one he would ever fucking ask. Even though there was like 20 other people out on break with us, I was the only one that ever got the shaft. So... It, it was trying my patience a little bit, but I was like, okay, as soon as we get paid, he's going to go get his own. That's, you know, that'll be, that'll be good. So we get paid. And, um, before he has a chance, like he doesn't see me, I'm kind of like, you know, bobbing and weaving away from him trying to get the hell away. So before he has a chance to see me, I kind of go hide and I wait for him to go around the corner. And as soon as he goes around the corner, I tap him on the shoulder. I was like, Hey man, can I, can I get a cigarette or you got a cigarette? He looks me dead in the face, like dead square in the face, serious as a heart attack. He goes, no, dog, you know I got no cigarette, dog. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? I was like, we, I looked at him and I was like, bro, we just got paid. And another thing I forgot to mention that he said, after he goes, no, dog, you know I got no cigarette, dog. He goes, I was about to ask you for one. Dude, really? I was like, we just got paid. I was like, how do you not have cigarettes on you? He goes, I was like, how do you not have cigarettes? He goes, man, I can't be affording them cigarettes. Man, them shit's too expensive. What the hell, bro? Are you serious right now? Like, <laughs> why are you, are you fucking with me? <laughs> so that, that whole ordeal, like, I didn't give him any more cigarettes after that. But the funny part of this story is that where I work at now, this same guy got hired about two three months ago and i recognized him just you know right off the bat i boom recognized him i, I will never forget that person and 
I was there, like, he had been there for about a week, maybe. And sure enough, whenever I'm over at my locker, like, he catches me in the hallway one day. I, I guess he didn't remember me, but he catches me in the hallway one day, and he taps me on the shoulder. He goes, hey, dog, can I get a cigarette, dog? I just kind of look at him, I'm like, no. Nah. <laughs> and then I just kind of walk away. I was like, sorry. <laughs> but that, that's how that whole deal went down. He doesn't work there anymore, thank God. But that's how that whole deal went down. It, it was just, oh my God. So now, basically, like, whenever me and my friends at work, we'll be just fucking with each other. Especially a couple of people I work with. They'll, they'll go up to each other. If they're out, they'll be like, hey, dog, let me get that cigarette, dog. Just, just to be dicking with each other, it's... Oh my God! But that was that was just one of the many things that happened to me while I was working at that factory. I have several other stories to tell you guys later on down the road from there. I mean, it, I just had a lot of fun, um, you know, at that place. The people I worked with were really good people. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's my story for today. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, I still get a chuckle out of it every time I think about it. Um, usually, people crack up at that story whenever i tell them that but i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did uh be sure you drop a like on the video yes i made it in black and white specifically for you guys um gives a more exotic look but uh i hope you guys enjoyed the video like i said drop a like on it hit the subscribe button if you haven't already be sure you share the video and i will see you guys later